Hi buddies, today my group and me, hi, we're gonna present the color blindness. What's color blindness? Color blindness, also known as color vision deficiency, is a decreased ability to see color or difference in color. Color blindness can make some educational activities difficult. Buying fruit, picking clothing, and reading traffic lights can be more challenging. For example, people with thought of color blindness however, may also have decreased visual acuity and be uncomfortable in bright environments. Causes. The most common cause of color blindness is an inherited problem in the development of one or more of the three sets of color sensing cones in the eye. Males are more likely to be color blind than females, as the genes responsible for the most common forms of color blindness are on the X chromosomes, as females have two X chromosomes, a defect in one is typically compensated for by the other. While males only have one X chromosome, color blindness can also result from physical or chemical damage to the eye, optic nerve, or parts of the brain. Color vision deficiencies can be classified as adhered or inherited. There are three types of inherited or congenital color vision deficiencies, monochromacy, dichromacy, and anomalous trichromacy. Monochromacy, also known as total color blindness, is a lack of ability to distinguish color caused by cone defect or absence. Monochromacy occurs when two or all three of the cone's pigments are missing and color and likeness vision is reduced to one dimension. Dichromacy is a moderately serve color vision defect in which one of the three basic colors mechanism is absent or not functioning. Dichromacy occurs when one of the cone pigments is missing and color is reduced to two dimensions. Dichromacy conditions are level based on whether the first, second or third proceptors are affected. The first referring to the red proceptors, the second to the green, and the third to the blue. Anomalous trichromacy is a common type of inherited color vision deficiency occurring when one of the three cone pigments is altered in its spectral sensitivity. Color blindness is often apparent at a young age when children are learning their colors. In some people, the problem goes undetected because they have learned to associate a specific color with certain objects, its symptoms are very mild, a person may not realize that they do not see certain colors. The symptoms of color blindness are often observed by parents when children are young. In other cases, symptoms are slight, they may not even be noticed. Common symptoms of color blindness include difficult distinguishing between colors and inability to see shades or tones of the same color. The most common symptom of color blindness is a change in your vision. For example, it may be difficult to distinguish between the red and green traffic light. Colors may seem less bright than before. Different shades of a color may all look the same. Symptoms of color blindness include having trouble with shades or intensity of colors. Because it's all about perception, you may not know there's a problem until the doctor finds. The symptoms of color blindness can range from mild to severe. Many people have such mild symptoms that they are unaware that they have a color deficiency. The symptoms include trouble seeing color and the brightness of color in the usual way, inability to tell the difference between shades of the same or similar colors. This happens most with red and green or blue and yellow. Except in most severe forms, color blindness does not affect this sharpness of vision. The inability to see any color at all and to see everything only in shades of gray is called achromatopsy. Milder forms of color vision deficiency are more subtle and many people never realize that they have a problem saying color. You should consult your doctor, you suspect you or your child is colorblind. They will be able to confirm the diagnosis and rule out other more serious health issues. How to diagnose color blindness? Why is it important to have color blindness properly diagnosed? 
Color vision defiancy can have an impact upon your child's performance in school or in the sport file and affect their confidence from an early age. In adults, having CBD can affect white colors you can pursue and be a frustration condition to life white at times. Ichihara color test. This is the most common test. You will be present with several plates or page. Each page will have a circle created by those composed of two or more colors. The optometrist or eye doctor will ask you what number you see on the plate. People with red green color blindness will have trouble seeing some of the numbers. Cambridge color test. This test is similar to the Ishihara color test but it is displayed on a computer screen. You will be asked to pipe of the letter C from different colored backgrounds. Anomaloscope color brain test. You will look through an eye piece while turning a node to match two different light sources in both brightness and color. Palwat Munsal 100 who test. This test measures your ability to determine subtle changes in color. It is used by industries such as graphic designs and food quality inspection that depend on exploits why accurate color perception? Transport lantern test. You will be shown pairs of light and asked to identify their color. The United States military used this test to determine the severity of color blindness. It is also used by the aviation industry. How to treat color blindness? There isn't a way to prevent color blindness because it's an inherited disease. There is no known cure for color blindness. Most of the people with color blindness learn to adapt and live with the condition. So, people with color blindness use ways to work around full color blindness. So, people with color blindness use ways to work around full color vision, such as memorize the order of color objects, such as traffic lights, have someone with good color vision labeled and sort their clothing and other items they want to match, or use smartphone apps designed for people with poor color vision because these apps allow users to detect color of objects. People with certain forms of ring green color blindness may be able to use a special set of glasses or contact lenses to help them perceive colors more accurately under certain lighting conditions. These glasses work by filtering out certain wavelengths of light to help people better distinguish red and green colors. They don't restore normal color vision, but they, they may make certain hues appear more vibrant. Color corrective glasses don't work for everyone with red green color blindness. Your eye doctor can help you to determine whether you might benefit from these glasses or not. The prognosis of the color blindness. Color blindness is a pathology for life. There is no cure or treatment for it. Anyway, you should always visit a specialized doctor, in this case, ophthalmologist, who can prescribe special lenses to help differentiate the colors. On the other hand, colorblind people have no difficulty adapting to daily life and can get used to recognizing color in different ways. Helping children during the first stage of school and reinforcing the learning of colors is essential to offer them the knowledge and security they need. Men have a much higher risk of being born with color blindness than women who rarely have this condition. It is estimated that on one in the men have some type of color deficiency. Certain conditions such as glaucoma, muscular degeneration, Alzheimer, Parkinson's syndrome, Chronic alcoholism, leukemia, and single cell anemia may increase the risk of developing, developing color blindness. Certain medications may also increase the risk of developing color blindness. The drug called hydroxychloroquine can cause color blindness. Hi, it's Arun. I hope you all enjoy our video about color blindness. And well, just give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel.